Good afternoon from my study. I'd like to start with a scripture it's from the Amplified Version, Matthew chapter 6, 22. The eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is sound, your entire body will be full of light. I've had some eye trouble over the last couple of days. Um, it's been quite sore in the left eye, quite blotchy and red, and when I touch it, it's been quite painful. And I went to the doctor and he said it's something called episcleritis. Those of you that are medical will check if I've pronounced it correctly. Um, but what actually struck me was the importance of the eye. It goes on to say in Bath, verse 23, but if your eye is unsound, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the very light in you, your conscience, is darkened, how dense is that darkness? And the thought crossed my mind today. What can darken your vision? I'll be brief. I wrote down two things that can darken your vision. One of them is wrong doctrine. And as we look on the internet, and as I flood through many comments that I've seen too on some of my own videos, many I'm heartened and blessed with, there are many that I see that folks seem to be veering completely away from Scripture, not looking at all at what is actually written, but drawing conclusions about things. I won't be specific about those today, but I just believe that it's so important that in these perilous times, we hold on to the exact and absolute truth. The second thing is, after wrong doctrine, are hasty conclusions. We can come to hasty conclusions about things. And that often stems from wrong doctrine. Sometimes it stems from what we see happening around us. And at the moment, of course, we see events going at a rapid pace. And we're beginning to see, aren't we, the setting of the stage for the end times. I certainly believe that. And there's a lot of confusion out there. There's a lot of fear, even amongst Christians and amongst believers. But I do believe this, that our eyes have to be sound. And that we have to commit ourselves to reading the word of God, meditating on it more than ever because we're going to be hearing so much clamour from all sorts of corners. Oh, you should believe this way and you should believe that way. And I don't want to, to become confused myself and I don't want to confuse anybody. So I will just exhort you today. If you want a sound eye, ensure that you have sound doctrine. Ask the Lord to give you a spirit of discernment a gift of discernment, so that you, you can discern and distinguish, as the scripture says, between soul and spirit, joints and marrow. That word of God that is sharper than any two-edged sword. Enjoy your day.